Okay, so mission five. You're not going to buy anything on this mission, so you can just mash through. Well, yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Uh, that's the thing, is that, like, that written portion is a supplement to this. So that you can have the information in front of you, as well as watch this. Like, that, that's the thing about this, tutor this tutorial, is that I'm going to also link that written version. Because I think that both are, are essential to each other. The written tutorial, Jimmy. I will, I'm also going to restart this, this uh, thing. Okay, so he's got the he's got the Evernote on deck. All right, so starting from the top, mission five. You don't buy anything, and you're going to see that I, I skipped through this so quickly. Hold on. Okay, so I have full Devil Trigger here, and for this cat, you don't want to get hit on this mission so that you can get the special bonus. So when this cat comes down at you, aim your guns at it. And then you can roll to the left here. Always just roll to the left. And I will show you alternate strategies after this. I will show you a couple of different examples of an alternate strategy for this cat. But this is the version that I like, and this is the version that I use. Because it has the potential to be the fastest. It's just the same as Mission 4. But you don't have to taunt. You can just... Stinger it, and then just start running away. You're just going to run up here. Wall hike up. Stinger down here. And then I knew that this cutscene was going to activate, so I didn't jump. You can do either stinger jump. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not a stinger jump. It's just regular jump over. It's just, it's just X at the edge. Yeah, I forgot that I... It's the same animation as stinger jump, so it's whatever. Um... Yeah, because if you use Stinger, you're actually just going to target the cat, so ignore that. Just hit X or A at the edge, because I'm bad at video games. Um, then you're just going to you're just going to wall hike onto the battlement here, and then grab the orb cache. There is an untouchable over here that you can grab, but it's not necessary at all. You lose like 11 seconds for picking it up. And I'm going to show you an untouchable that you can grab without losing any time. So, if you want it, go ahead and grab it. It's not mandatory. I I grab it in my PB, but that's because I pulled a dumb. So, don't do that. Then you're just going to go back through the door. Stinger through this room. And then you just want to jump into the middle of the room here. And then helm break down. And you'll be able to get a little bit of double trigger that way. And you'll get the special bonus, as well as the S rank. Now, for the alternate strategies for the cat, uh, there's basically one alternate strategy, but it can either give you bad or good patterns. So, I'm going to show you guys the bad pattern first. And basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to bait out a certain attack from the cat, which is where it transforms into a spike. And you can jump on the spike and then shoot it without having to... And you'll be able to defeat it without exposing the core. So you just kind of aim, and then you use this edge here as a way to gauge the distance between you and the cat. So you just kind of sit here. And as you can see, the cat is not really cooperating. So I'm, I'm just staying here on the edge, trying to bait out this attack. And it's taking a while. But I'm just dodging. And then he finally, finally gives it to me. And then you just jump straight through because jumps have involve frames in this game. So you can just jump straight straight through the spike, land it. This is not required for World Record. World Record uses this strategy, but he got a really good pattern for it. I believe that the potential to be faster is the one that I showed you before, where you just shoot DT guns from the start. But as far as I know, this is not required for World Record. I, th I think that the other way, with R with better RNG, has the potential to be faster. But you see that he actually became red while I was shooting him, because he's in a vulnerable state while he's in this spiked form. So then I can just run away. <coughs> I 
and then jump over there, and then jump wall hike up there. And then just proceed through the mission as usual. Now, a good version of that, I'll show you right now. The cat almost immediately gives the attack to me. Yep, there we go. So that was about 11 seconds faster than what I had. That was sketch, though. So there's that. There's the kind of three different versions of how the cat fight can go. Haha, <laughs> cat fight. 